Hi, Cancer. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxy. How are you guys? I hope you're all doing well. Cancer, this is going to be for Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising signs, June 1st to the 14th, 2020. I'm using the Light Sears Tarot deck by Chris Ann on Instagram and also the Chakra Wisdom Oracle Cards by Tori Hartman. Cancer. I catch her if you like the reading. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I would very much appreciate that. Cancers. Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising. March, June 1st, 14th. Cancer. All right, the Five of Cups just kind of fell off at the bottom. You know, loss, regret, sadness, disappointment. That didn't flip up. Cancer. Cancer. Hi, Priestess. Strength. The Hangman. This has been out a lot. Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Your overall energy. Wow, Nine of Cups. It's been out quite a bit too. Wheel of Fortune's at the bottom. Karma, destiny, things happening at the precise moment in time that they're meant to happen. Definitely things turning in your favor. I, I definitely see new beginnings, wish fulfillment. You could be getting into a new relationship. The Four of Wands is here. This might have something to do with you know, a home for some of you, your foundation. I feel like some of you are going to feel very secure and stable. You know, maybe in the past, you know, you were dating and you really couldn't get a commitment, but now you're getting a commitment. Some of you definitely could be a little bit nervous. The Nine of Swords. Knight of Wands. So listen, if you felt stuck or fear was holding you back, a lack of confidence, I definitely see you freeing yourself from that. And your luck is definitely changing, Cancer. Definitely. Your overall energy for the next two weeks is the Nine of Cups. Feeling emotionally very happy. You know, with the Wheel of Fortune, truly a wish and a dream come true. Look at both of these cards together. Truly feeling on top of the world. Happy, content over the next two weeks. 
definitely see that. The High Priestess. You do have a few people here, actually. Starting with the Queen of Swords. Now, this could be your energy for the female, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But then you also have the Queen of Pentacles on the other side. So this could be, you know, you energy for you females that have Earth in your chart. Others of you could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Some of you could be really enjoying yourself over the next two weeks. Some of you could be receiving something from two different women. Now, the Wheel of Fortune, you know, like I said, is a karmic energy. You know, the Knight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Swords. Some of you are definitely breaking free from that. And then I did happen to notice that the Ten of Cups is here, too. Oh, wow. And the Two of Cups. The Emperor. Aries, Taurus, Male. Some of you are definitely, absolutely getting into a relationship. Some of you are, are definitely making a commitment. You know, you found your soulmate with the Two of Cups. Could be a relationship where you're just getting to know each other, spending more time together. Some of you could have even been maybe playing the field, trying to make up your mind. And if that's the case... And you're someone that's choosing between a couple of people. You're spending time alone thinking about it the first week. I definitely see some of you very intuitive. Some of you might be realizing something about a man. That maybe he was a player. But I do feel like... That's coming to an end. Someone could have, be, could have been just lacking confidence. You could have been lacking confidence, Cancer, feeling nervous. Something that was holding you back. But you're overcoming that. Definitely with the strength card. You know, and, this, and the Six of Pentacles. Some of you are definitely investing a lot of time and energy into a relationship with the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups that we see at the bottom of the deck here. The Wheel of Fortune for some of you. This is definitely a soulmate relationship. It's a relationship that's that's meant to come into your life. Now, it's not going to be love for all of you, but for those of you that it is, this love is meant to, to be, it's meant to come into your life now. And I do feel long-term potential. There's a very strong physical attraction. You know, there's a man and a woman, Aries, Taurus, male. Some of you could have found your, your soulmate with this man. But there could have just been some, like, hindrance prior, like fear, just nervous about the whole situation. But someone's definitely breaking free from that, whether it's you or this other person. For others of you, it could be a new job. Eight of Pentacles. You know, you could definitely be learning something new. Taking a class. But it is going to benefit you greatly. And again, you have this karmic energy. You have this karmic energy here. So what you put into something, you know, you're going to get great rewards that come from that. You know, with the hangman, yes, some of you probably feel like you need to make some kind of sacrifice when it comes to this. If you're getting a new job, learning something new. Others of you 
are just going to need to be a little bit patient as you go through this process. But you do have the Wheel of Fortune here. Kind of go with the flow. The Ace of Pentacles is your new beginning. If you've been waiting for something to come in, it's coming in. You're receiving it. And it could possibly definitely come from this Queen of Pentacles, this Virgo Taurus Capricorn woman. This woman could be helping you. She could be giving you this opportunity, this wish dream come true. Some of you are definitely starting your own business, you know, and it's definitely a process. You're being very, very devoted to this. It really is a beautiful spread. Really looks like a beautiful two weeks for you guys. It really, really does. Lots of just happiness, contentment. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Let me get you your Oracle card for additional guidance. Clarification for Cancer, please. From the Rising Signs. June 1st to the 14th. Cancer. Cancer. Oh, there we go. That'll be the one. Okay. Perseverance. Beautiful. That's the key to your success. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. You do have strength, the strength card here. You could have a Leo here that's a friend of yours that absolutely could be helping you because you do have two women in this reading. Could even be three women because of the high priestess. You know, it's a woman. This woman could have Leo in their chart. But six, there is success here. Believe in yourself. You know, it's beautiful. And it is going to make you emotionally very, very happy, Cancer. It is a beautiful reading. No matter how you resonate with it, it is really beautiful. You know, but if it didn't resonate, definitely watch your other signs. Those of you that would like to get a private reading or get additional guidance on Facebook Live, Instagram, links to everything you guys need are right below the video in the description box. Adore you guys, and I'll see you back here with your love monthlies. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.